Welcome back to Mondo Musings. I'm your presenter, Nicardo McLean, with a look ahead to the upcoming World Athletics World Under-20 Championships in Lima, Peru. Now, despite the absence through injury of defending men's triple jump champion and world junior record holder Jaden Hibbert, the Jamaican team is still chock full of athletes with obvious medal potential. Here's a look at 10 who have a good shot at mining precious gold, silver, or bronze in the land of the ancient Incas. In the women's 100 meters, Olympic 4x1 relay finalist Alana Reed, who was a bronze medalist in the 200 meters two years ago in Cali, Colombia, leads the way by one hundredth of a second from fellow Olympian Tori Lewis. The Dennis Mitchell coached athlete's season's best time of 11.09 was registered while finishing fourth behind the likes of training partner and eventual Olympic bronze medalist in the 100 meters, Melissa Jefferson, at the Tom Jones Memorial back on April 13th. Theana Lee Terrellong, who produced a blistering personal best time of 11.13 seconds to capture the national junior title on June 28th, completes the dynamic duo that Jamaica will send into battle in the Blue Ribbon event. Still well over a month away from her 17th birthday, the tall, powerful Edwin Allen High School student will look to extend the island's reign over the event, which was won by former junior sensation Brianna Williams in 2018 and her ex-schoolmate Tina Clayton in 2021 and 2022. Another sensational 16-year-old Shanoia Douglas will also seek to keep the women's half-lap crown in Jamaican hands following Brianna Liston's victory in Cali in 2022. Blessed with 11-2 speed, probable sub-53 strength, and a seemingly inextinguishable competitive fire, the rangy Garth Smythe conditioned sprinter was clearly a class apart while romping to an entry list leading and PB setting mark of 22.59 at the Jamaican National Championships on June 30th. At 7th fastest on the entry list, the somewhat enigmatic Sabrina Dockery is admittedly a longer shot than most featured here to make it to the podium in Peru. As she has demonstrated a slightly worrying tendency to do, the 17-year-old Camille Ennis guided speedster produced her personal best mark of 23.10 seconds in the heats at the Carifta Games back in March, before running a slower time despite being pushed by a much stronger tailwind in the subsequent final. If she can build through the rounds while saving her best race for last, she could be on her way to something special. Meanwhile, sprint hurdling starlet Karika Hill returns to defend the title she won in championship record-setting fashion in Cali. A member of the Ronaldo Walcott-helmed elite performance camp, the fleet-footed 19-year-old was raced sparingly this season, leads the junior sprint hurdling world by a tenth of a second, thanks to a nippy 12.85 clocking for second behind eventual Olympic silver medalist Serena Samba Maiella in her heat at the CAS Meeting International in July. Reigning Garifta Under-20 Sprint Hurdles champion Abiba Harris flies to Lima as the second fastest junior in the world in 2024, courtesy of her 12.95 second BB to book her ticket to Grenada at the preceding trials for the iconic regional games. In June, the soon-to-be 19-year-old St. Elizabeth Technical Product added the coveted national title to her growing collection by coming out on top in a thrilling race that saw no less than five young ladies breach the 13.3-second barrier. Jamaica's charge in the men's 100 meters will be led by the fourth youngest and fourth fastest competitor in the field, Gary Card, who will be bidding to become the first male U20 champion to emerge from the Woolmer's MVP nexus. Exhibiting maturity and composure well beyond his 17 years and two months, Card, who claimed a facile victory over 200 meters at the Carifta Games in April, powered away from a quality field to log an eye-catching 1007 pb while claiming the national u20 title in late june deandre daly who's seemingly been around forever is set to accompany his younger countryman card in the bills guided by claude grant 
former coach of two-time champion in the event Dexter Lee, Daly, who turned 19 in February, indicated that he's rounding into form at just the right time by copping second in a season's best 10-16 at Nationals on June 28th. Axel Sorian, Daniel Wright profiles as the nation's primary medal threat in the men's intermediate hurdles, entering the fray with the fifth quickest time in 2024. Last season's world leader over the 84 centimeter barriers, the 18-year-old David Riley coach talent combined the technique that got him to 13-3 in the sprint hurdles with his 47-2 flat 400 meter speed to conjure up a massive new personal best of 49.88 seconds at Jamaica Nationals in June. This saw him finish a full second ahead of the country's second entrant, Travoy Smith, who also obliterated his erstwhile PB with 50.92. Finally, in the men's discus, most black, green, and gold hopes will be pinned on under-20 world leader and former St. Jago High student, Shaquan Dunn, now coached by Rajiv Ford at Jamaica College. The 19-year-old strongman who is set to double up in the shot winged his 1.75 kilogram implement out to a mammoth mark of 65.48 meters in the class one event at boys and girls champs comfortably clearing monroe college's 59.99 man chad hendrix who he'll join forces with in lima and that's it for this installment of mondo musings now, who are the young Jamaican athletes that you expect to star in Lima? Let me know in the comment section. And time permitting, I'll put out a video looking at a few of the non-Jamaican youngsters from whom spectacular performances can be expected. Thanks, as always, for checking out the content. Your views, likes, shares, and subscriptions are very much appreciated. Until next time, peeps. Godspeed.